Hey everybody, Rip Fletching. I'm gonna have a cool little test here for you. So, um, we're gonna be shooting the Bishop Broadhead. It's a single bevel that made out of S7 tool steel. That's the uh, highest grade steel I've ever heard of it being put into a broadhead. And I don't know of anything, I'm, I'm no specialist in steel. Uh, my father was, but um, this is good tool steel, it's good stuff. It's good as I know of. Um, we're gonna be shooting this with a 60 pound um, black swan hybrid longbow. Be shooting it off a of VAP carbon shaft. It's a VAP uh, 250. And we're gonna do a test. We're gonna do a dry. I washed this with alcohol so it's clean, just like you get one new. And we're gonna be doing that. And we're gonna lube the broadhead. We're gonna see on metal if it makes any difference at all. Just uh, out of curiosity, it was uh, occurred to me, you know, give this a try. So, hey, let's give it a try. I've heard of uh, people skewing tests in the industry on gel testing and so forth using lubricants on their aero shafts, which is a pretty crooked way to do it. But uh, so we'll shoot one dry and one with a squirt of WD-40, and let's see what happens. It's gonna be a little bit loud. We'll be shooting right over the top of the camera. And uh, well, let's see what happens. Pretty excited. Hoping this will be a good deal. I put uh, these are aluminum knocks on the back of these arrows. Um, they fit a little too snug for me, uh, anyway. So maybe a little bit louder than normal. But let's see what happens. Sixty pound black swan. Wow! What a pop! All right. Let's take a look at that broadhead. And as you guys have seen before, absolutely perfect. Looks great. Amazing. I tell you what, that's a that's a pretty good hole right there too. Man, look at that. Actually, it went through, it hit the shaft. Hit right at the base. Wow. All right, that's pretty impressive. Now we're gonna do a Squirt a lube on there. Let's see if it changes any of uh, any of the performance of, as far as penetrating on that uh, steel. Try to shake that off. All right. What's your prediction? I predict after seeing that shoot. I, I think I'm going to predict a pass through. Let's see what happens. And that's exactly what happened. Wow. Check that out, guys. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Opened it up. So, uh, that answered a little bit of questions. Let me uh, set this down for a minute, guys. I'll unscrew this. We'll take a look at it. Okay, you know what? That was pretty close to that other shaft, to the other spot there. Let me uh, let me reshoot that. I mean, this thing still looks good. I'll, uh, I've got WD-40. I just kind of rub back on it. Let you guys get a close view. I think that's yeah. Put you right there in front of. If I can still shoot, yeah. Don't hit the camera. Well. Another spot. We'll uh, pop one through here. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. I stopped it. Let's set this bow down. So. <laughs> Whoa. So. This is one here. This is one here. Interesting. Very interesting. Let me check the broadhead. It removed the oil from the uh, areas in which it touched, but uh, 
That's the Bishop rod head. If I get that to focus in for you. See the dry? Took the WD-40 rod off of it on the cutting edge. Oh, well, that was something else. All right, well, there you go. That's the Bishop broadhead. And man, it literally looks just like a brand new one. I mean, you can see how many times I've been shooting this thing with these Bishop broadheads. Uh, they're amazing. Of course, this is tool steel. It's designed to cut other steel. That was so loud, my ears ringing down here, so. All right, hope you uh, enjoyed that and did that with the 200 grain Bishop broadhead on a 250 spined Victory Armor Pearson shaft with the aluminum knock and you can see um, I actually took that aluminum knock and put hot glue down inside the shaft and on the outside to help in case it hit too hard it wouldn't pop back out at me and to keep it from shoving down in the shaft and rupturing the back of my shaft because and when you're shooting steel, I you can definitely do that. And uh, anyway, of course, you know me, I'm shooting the Black Swan. But uh, that was awesome. All right, catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it.